Hey guys, you know multi-million dollar mansions, prefabricated apartments, and futuristic homes lodged right into the side of a cliff. It seems like designers and architects have taken things to a new level with these funky looking house designs. So join me for today's video. We're going to count down the 15 weirdest home designs in the world. Number 15. The Toilet House Alright, kicking off this list is a home that perhaps would better serve as a number one, maybe even number two. That's because it's shaped like a toilet. The story behind Korea's toilet house is a strange one. The owner, Sim Jae Duk, is said to have been born in his grandmother's bathroom, and since then he decided to dedicate the rest of his life to water conservation and improving global access to clean, efficient, and working sanitation, which would include toilets. He's so dedicated to his mission that he became the chairman of the World Toilet Association and built this home in the shape of a porcelain throne in 2007. His home cost him over a million dollars to create and remains the only toilet-shaped house in the world to this day. But this weird home is more than just a pretty face because it's been designed to harvest rainwater which is incorporated into the home and helps flush the three toilets inside. Sadly though, Sim Jae Duk died in 2009, just two years after he built his dream home, and so it was donated to the government who made it into a museum they like to call the Toilet Theme Park. Statues and sculptures of toilets have been erected around the property, and you can even buy fake poop in the gift shop. Number 14. The Car-Shaped House Another home designed to look like something completely different is this car-shaped house in Salzburg, Austria. This four-walled, four-wheeler was built in 2004 by Manfred Volgreider and can sleep a family of four, or, you know, one in each seat. But the fact that the architect even got approval for this structure is pretty amazing. Because not only is the home the only one of its kind on the block, but it's also right next to a nature preserve. Just imagine knocking on the driver's side door to ask to borrow a cup of sugar. But despite looking like a car, the car house is fuel efficient, featuring natural ventilation and lighting, as well as tight insulation and shading. The home facade is just for show, though, because when you go inside, it just becomes a typical home with large windows. I guess you could even forget what the exterior looks like for a bit. But what possessed Mr. Volkreiter to design such a weird home? Well, it seems as though he just felt like it. He's not a car enthusiast, nor does he seem to be some sort of eccentric. All that really matters is that the car is built up to code and that it won't drive away. Number 13. S House it's important to remember that weird isn't always bad, and the S house in Japan is the perfect example of that. But make no mistake, this is still one unconventional design because it would be like living in a giant fishbowl. Designed by renowned architect Yasuke Karasawa, the S house is meant to blend philosophy and architecture together into one single family home in the Saitama prefecture of Japan. The design of the home is said to show off the complicated networking of humans with one another and humans and nature, eventually twinning together to meet in the middle. So while everything certainly has its own place in the world, at the end of the day, it's all connected. But while all of that does sound nice, like so many others on this list of funky abodes, the S house is the only structure like it in the area, so there's no doubt that some neighbors might find it to be one giant eyesore. And speaking of glass, the walls and windows here are one and the same, so hopefully the owners invest in some extra long, extra tall curtains. Otherwise, everyone's gonna have front row seats to the peep show, morning, noon, and night. Number 12. Chateau d'Eau Converting old water towers into homes isn't necessarily a new idea, and the possibilities for the interior can be virtually endless once you've gutted the place. But that doesn't mean you can't touch up the exterior as well. But don't tell that to the owner of Chateau d'Eau, a converted water tower in Belgium, because they really skimped on the curb appeal. While the former water tower holds a single-family home, the outside is still made with ugly brick, and the overall shape makes it look like you're staring at one giant ice cream cone, but without the ice cream. Originally the design of architect Mauro Brigham, this 100-foot-high tower was built somewhere between 1938 and 1941 and has six stories. The water tower is in pretty rough shape when Brigham found it, and so renovation and restoration began in 2007. Apparently, much of the original concrete was damaged, and so the columns were repaired and brick joints were totally removed and replaced, with windows added. And while no one is denying his impressive work, he could have at least given the exterior a better paint job. Number 11. The Lego House Think back to when you were a kid playing with Legos. What was the coolest thing you ever made? What was the biggest? How about a home big enough for someone to live in? Well, that's exactly what James May did. 
When deciding to build this home, May threw conventional materials like wood, brick, and steel out the window and opted for 3.3 million Lego bricks instead. But the story ain't so simple, because a home made entirely of Lego bricks would collapse soon after being built. A foundation and skeleton were built, with the bricks going around the husk. So, other than children, who would ever want to live there? Not even James May was willing to move in, but that didn't stop him from looking for a buyer. The Legoland theme park actually considered purchasing the structure, but the deal didn't go through after they decided moving costs would be more trouble than it was worth. The house would have to be disassembled in chunks only to be reassembled at the park. And in the end, May's Lego house was dismantled one brick at a time, and all 3.3 million were donated to charity. Number 10. The Starburst House This next house looks like the home of an eccentric recluse in the middle of the California desert. This starburst house not only looks futuristic because of its literal exploding star design, but it also takes the future of our environment into account. At this rate, we really don't know what the planet's going to look like a thousand or even a hundred years from now. But if we make a few simple tweaks to our lifestyle, then the future may not all be that bad. So the design team behind this home of the future, Whitaker Studios, decided to put together a home made entirely of old shipping containers, 21 to be exact, and painted them a bright white, which is a stark contrast to the somewhat ominous surroundings. The Starburst house sits on a large 90-acre plot of land just outside of Joshua Tree and was built for Chris Hanley, the producer of some cult classic films like Buffalo 66 and American Psycho. And with the type of films Hanley's backing, it would make sense that he likes the isolation that this house provides. And because many of the shipping containers point straight up at the sky, he's got some killer views of the final frontier every night. Number 9. Belgian Rockface Home now, this is one weird-looking home design. Found in Belgium, this house looks like it was shoved right into the rock. Or maybe they had the home already built and just dropped a rock on it. There are plenty of breathtaking homes in the rocky and mountainous areas that have been carved right into the rock face. But this one just fails on every level. And while the interior of the home may look fine, this rock face home seems like a real eyesore to the rest of the neighbors. Or I'm sure all live in normal homes. And whatever the owner's intentions are is anybody's guess. But the even bigger question is, when the time comes, how do they plan to sell it? And the rocks are aligned just perfectly for a burglar or two to scale the rock face, open a window, and walk right in. Despite the materials used for this Belgian abode, this house definitely does not rock. Number 8. The Chemosphere The 1960s were a wild time. The youth were trying out new forward ways of thinking, the civil rights movement was in full effect in the United States, and people were experimenting with all sorts of things, even architecture. The Chemosphere was designed as a modern abode in Los Angeles, California in 1960 by John Lochner. At the time, Lochner was applauded by critics and experts for the octagonal design, but the rest of us were left scratching our heads and shaking in fear, because this Chemosphere seems to float in the air over the hills below. The chemosphere looks kind of like a UFO trying to land in the rough terrain of LA's hills. So, what's going on here? When Lautner surveyed the area that the chemosphere sits on, he was given two options. Level out the sloped land, which would take too much time and even more money, not to mention hurt the ecosystem. Or just build a single 30-foot column to support the house, which is what gives it its hovering appearance. He obviously chose the latter, which only cost about 30 grand. And while Lautner would assure you that the house is fine, it's hard not to be left shaking in your boots a little once you're inside this eight-sided abode. And despite the fear, the chemosphere is now worth well over three million bucks. Number seven, the Steel House. In Lubbock, Texas, in the middle of what feels like nowhere, is a large dark brown steel structure that looks like it's been exposed to the elements for far too long. The famous steel house was built from about 120 tons of steel over the course of 23-year construction period. And since this clearly is not your average single-family home or condo, you can bet the steel house was also built with a funky shape. Designed by architect Robert Bruno because he felt bored and disappointed with the flat landscape, he built his house to spruce up the desolate area a bit. Another project that initially started small, he began constructing a one-story house but couldn't stop there. Many, many adjustments were made. Walls were broken down, additions were built, and the end result gave him something a little bigger than he had bargained for. The inside of his home does look cool, though, and it has some great views of the surrounding area. But unless you're an artist looking for an interesting house, most people may not understand the overall aesthetic of Ransom Canyon's pig-shaped steel house. Number 6. The Crocodile House 
All right, next on the list of strange home designs is something you can really sink your teeth into. In the former capital of the Ivory Coast is one wacky looking house that's made to look like a giant stone crocodile, complete with eyes and big teeth ready to take a bite out of any would-be intruders. Construction on this home began in the mid-2000s and is the brainchild of artist Musa Kahlo. But Kahlo sadly passed away just two months before the croc was completed, and so their apprentice, Thierry Atta, took on the task of finishing the house. But not only that, Atta decided to make this house their home and quickly moved in. But despite being made of stone, the crocodile still has windows and a bed and is totally livable. And yeah, this crocodile home may be minimalist and not as extravagant as what many Westerners are used to, but it's also important to remember that the region and the neighborhood aren't the wealthiest. So is the crocodile the best rendition of the animal? Absolutely not. But sometimes you gotta work with what you got, and plenty of people still drop by to feast their eyes on this unorthodox house, which always puts a smile on their faces. Number 5. The Winchester Mystery House a lot can be said about the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California, so much so that it's been the subject of books, films, and television shows, and it's even the setting of a tabletop game. It's as famous as it is infamous, and rightly so, because it's one of the weirdest houses in history, both inside and out. It all began in the mid-1800s, when the Winchester repeating rifle was used to cut down the American indigenous population in the following years. The weapon quickly became known as the gun that won the West. The treasurer of the company, William Winchester, would die of tuberculosis, and his wife, Sarah Winchester, would inherit his immense fortune. But with that fortune came the alleged ghosts, spirits, and demons left in the wake of the Winchester death. One of the wealthiest women in the world was haunted, and so she built her home to keep the spirits away. She would continue building the home until she died in 1922. There are stained glass windows with nothing but concrete behind them, stairs leading to walls, doors to secret passages, and occasionally the home's exterior where death and dismemberment are just one false step away. It's one of the most popular tourist attractions on the U.S. West Coast, and it's pretty hard to believe that anyone could have possibly called this place home. Number 4. The Host House not to be confused with a giant marshmallow that was left out in the sun for too long, the Gehost House in Delma, France was built with the idea of capturing your attention from the road. And despite the name, the Gehost House technically isn't a house, but a gallery and visitor center that just so happens to stick out like a sore thumb. Designed by two French architects, the building that is now the Gehost House has an incredibly rich history. It served as a school, a prison, and even a funeral home, so perhaps its ghostly history inspired its otherworldly look. But the story behind the home's name is just as unique. It was thought up by the French-American painter and sculptor Marcel Duchamp, who thought that adding the words guest and host would equal ghost. So now that the Gehost House is a visitor center, it really takes on the role of all three. The art center is the host, the visitors are the guests, and, well, the design makes the structure look like a ghost oozing ectoplasm, ready to be busted by Winston Venkman Ray and Egon. Well, the entire house was covered in polystyrene blocks, which is what gives it its chunky, mushy form. From there, designers covered the building in two coats of polyurethane resin to make it waterproof, and then simply painted it white to add the finishing touch. And so if you're ever driving in that area and see this strange looking structure, be sure to stop in because it's now serving as the area's visitor center. Number three, Shark Attack. You can really sink your teeth into this next entry. The official name of this home is Untitled 1986, but many local residents of New High Street in Headington, Oxford just call it the Headington Shark. And if you can't already tell by looking at it, the structure is a giant shark diving headfirst into the roof of a normal house. Is it the remnant of Sharknado? No, instead it's the work of the home's owner and local radio presenter, Bill Heine. He commissioned the piece in the year of its namesake, taking inspiration from the sound of the American warplanes flying above the city on their way to Libya. In short, this is a punk rock protest against war, and to make matters even more prolific, Heine installed the shark without the city's permission. Designed by sculptor John Buckley and constructed by Anton Castiel, the 25-foot-long, 440-pound fiberglass beast is said to represent the feeling of helplessness a human might experience as a hole is ripped through their roof by something so deadly. It is a bold statement, made even stronger by the fact that Heine had it put up on the 41st anniversary of the dropping of the atomic bomb on Nagasaki. Number 2. Nautilus Seashell she sells seashells by the seashore. It's not just a timeless limerick, but advice to homeowners everywhere. 
Well, maybe not everywhere, but certainly the designer of the Nautilus House in Mexico. This is another great example of something weird also being something pretty amazing. The shell of the home is designed by famed Mexican architect Javier Senocian. But this dwelling is more than just a pretty face. It's also quite literally built to last, as it can withstand most earthquakes, and it's totally maintenance-free. It's an amazing blend of nature and all, but that comes at a bit of a price. It's not the greatest use of space, and it's pretty short on storage space considering curved walls don't really allow for cupboards and closets. But it is hard to be jealous of the family that lives in this place. The Nautilus is made using special techniques called ferrocement construction, where a frame of steel-reinforced chicken wire is coated with concrete to allow for the rounded natural curves. The interior is just as spectacular as the facade, full of spiral circles and rooms that mimic the concave interiors that only a hermit crab could ever know and love. And then there's the sight of the rainbow-colored stained glass that adorns the walls, letting in some gorgeously colored light. This is what happens when a creative mind and talent like Senocian is given full artistic freedom. Number 1. The Upside Down House No need to adjust your screens. What you're seeing is real. Constructed in the lovely seaside resort of Tresenheide on the Pomeranian island of Usedom, the Upside Down House of Tresenheide was the first bottom-up dwelling to be built in Germany. That's right, the first, meaning there are more than one of these wacky homes scattered about the region. It was the Polish architects Klaudius Golos and Sebastian Mikacek who cooked up these unorthodox upside-down designs as part of the De Welt Stepkoft, the World Upside Down Project. The goal of the project was quite simple, give people a new perspective on everyday things. Things only get crazier when you step inside this oddly designed home, because when it comes to the upside-down house, beauty is only skin deep. Everything on the inside is topsy-turvy too, except for the stairs leading to the attic. Stepping inside is enough to make your head spin, because everything from the sofas to the kitchen to plants and paintings on the wall is all inverted. Even the curtains are pinned to the wall in such a way as to make you think gravity has betrayed you. Just make sure you don't flush the toilet. But if the upside downiness of the home isn't enough, the structure is built on a 6% incline. So from the outside, it gives the impression that the house fell from the heavens and onto the ground. But since its completion in 2008, the house has been joined by the House Kof Uber on the neighboring island of Rügen just two years later in 2010. And like so many other oddly designed homes on this list, this home in Tresenheide was built purely with tourism in mind. So don't expect to hear about anyone signing an upside-down lease anytime soon. I'll see you next time. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.